It's time for Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Thee. And Okaboji Broadcast is being brought to you by Bank Midwest, Dream Big, Plan Wisely, Live Well. By Ducky's Marine and Motorsports Repair in Spirit Lake. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Brands Law Office in Spirit Lake. By Synergy Chiropractic and Acupuncture in Okaboji. By Bloom and Leonard Agency in Esteville. And HP Insurance Agency with offices in Sibley and Rock Rapids. By Okaboji Mattress Company, one mile west of the junction of Highways 9 and 71 in Spirit Lake. Ruthven Locker on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake, Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake, and B Radiant Laser Skin Studio on Highway 71 in Spirit Lake. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Mine's been enlightened. I have both Chris and Susie Kraft of Ruthven Locker in Spirit Lake, and of course, Ruthven Processing in Ruthven, and they're joining me here today. First of all, how you guys doing? I know you're tired. You've been working like crazy. Yeah, we're pretty exhausted. Yeah, I know you are. And, and you know, Chris and Susie, people have been going berserk and that's my probably putting it mildly just with uh, the outbreaks of COVID-19 and so forth and packing plants across South Dakota, Iowa and so forth and I know you're getting overwhelmed with phone calls and, and there's an urgency people are having with with meat and big meat packing issues so what are you doing right now for custom ordering process uh, in, in for beef in particular right now? Well Usually this is our slow time of the year where we get to clean up the locker pretty well and do a lot of maintenance. Uh, that's not going on right now. Um, so we've had influx of phone calls ranging from, hey, we need to order some beef on to, hey, when can we book some beef coming in? Or, hey, I just found a farmer that wants to give me uh, four to six hogs. When can we get them in to, to be slaughtered so they're not euthanized? Yeah. So we're getting a wide variety of phone calls not just down at the plant, but we're also getting them up here in Spirit Lake, which is unusual for the staff that we have up here. We don't usually field those phone calls, but right. we're having to do that. So um, people are pretty worried. Um, they're hearing lots of rumors um, about uh, lots of different things. So yeah. uh, we're just trying to take care of them as best we can, but we're pretty booked solid. So Yeah, well, and when you say the best you can, Susie, the fact, Chris... Uh, Ruthven Meats and Processing, this is your family business. I mean, this is generational. Your, your family has done this a long time. So what you're bringing to the table literally uh, is the finest cuts of meat and, and uh, quality locker work. And so I'm sure for you with all this going on, you're up to your, your earlobes in, in keeping up with it. Yeah, it's... Uh... It's a good thing and a bad thing. Yeah. Um, like you said, you know, right now I would love to have like three days to where we're slow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it it's a lot of maintenance right now, usually right at this time of year. But you know, she, you know, my wife had said we're pretty booked. We are actually booked for the year right now. Um, wow. wow. I can fit in a beef here, a hog here, starting in August. Um, my employees down there have been just amazing. Stellar. Wow. Um, well, we just... get on each other's nerves. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but Sometimes we need a little intervention. But, <laughs> yeah. but at, the end, at the end of the day, I couldn't ask for a better team. Yeah. Um, we're doing everything we can to keep the the necessity. You know, the the basics, the ground beef, the patties. The steaks, the roast, right. you know, the pork chops. And we're doing it with local farmers. Um, yeah. I just, I, I, I have it in my heart to, you know, we, we, we've been supported by this community a lot. Yeah. And all I can do as a business owner is support that local farmer as right. much as I can. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Absolutely. I get a lot of calls. A lot of calls about, well, beef is really cheap right now, and I'm probably not going to be liked very well when I say this. <laughs> but I'm not out to find a farmer that's going to sell me cheap meat. No. I'm not out to find that. I'm out to stick with 
a local farmer that I can also help because yeah. I don't want them to lose their shirt, lose their, yeah, you know, go broke or you know go belly up. Like that's the way I am right now. Yeah. Um, well, and that's all part of being working local, Chris. Is we, right. you know, you support that farmer. Uh, the, the the farmer supports multiple businesses, and and that's that's how we turn those dollars around and around in a community. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you know, we have farmers that we've worked with for you know, well, Chris and I have been around for six years now, and and but but my father-in-law, Chris's dad, he's been working with these farmers for a long time too, yeah. and. Uh, there's a lot of loyalty. There's lots of handshakes. That's how we do contracts, you know. And um, we hate seeing them walking in with their heads down, and we don't know what we're going to do. And so, you know, um, while we are helping the farmers that we don't know, you know, that, that are coming in new, yeah. we are giving priority to the ones that we've worked with for a long time because those are the ones that have been there for us in hard times too. Absolutely. So, um, you know, so there's a lot of that going on. And uh, Chris was bringing up cost and the prices and things like that. Sorry, my dog is whining in the back. Just ignore him. Um, so me. <laughs> we've been having to make some pretty tough decisions lately. Um, he, he brought up a little bit. We're, we're, we're really tired, so we're a little scrambled. I'm sorry about that. But right. um, talking about retail products, we're so thankful for the customer base that we have, not just in Spirit Lake, but in Ruthin, which is where everything started, you know? Yes. Um, we do not have a whole lot of smoked products, uh, snack products. We do have, you know, our, 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 um, our, uh, help me out, wieners and, and wieners and, and things like that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Bacon. But like our snack sticks, our locker trash, things like that. The things that people really enjoy for snacks, we have had problems keeping up with. But that's one of the decisions that we've had to make as far as how we're prioritizing what what they're doing and making down at the locker. You know, when it comes to a family needing to put food on their table, they're not going to serve up locker trash for supper. That's right. Yeah, they're going to be looking they're, for they're, the, the ground beef or the ground pork, what, whatever yeah. it is. Exactly. Exactly. So those are some of the decisions that we're making, and our customers have been phenomenal. Are they disappointed when they walk in and they don't see locker trash or they don't see their beef jerky? Sure. But once we explain what we're doing, they completely get it, and, yeah. and they've been absolutely phenomenal about it um so anyways um tough decisions going around uh, that, that are having to be made yeah uh, we may have to increase some of our prices um we're hoping to not have to you know people are seeing it in the grocery store and and i'm trying my hardest to 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 stop myself from saying things on facebook when i see people slamming high v about their prices on meat because people are saying, you know, hy is just trying to make a profit, extra profit on meat, and they're not. Right. The, the bottom line is, is that hy is only pricing based on what they're being charged. And um, fortunately, we've been able to push off having to raise our prices because of where we're getting our meat from the farmers and things like that. Yeah. So ours are driven a little bit differently. But it may come to the point where, you know, there's other things that come cost-wise with processing our meat. And, yeah. um we may at some point have to raise ours too, but right now we're holding okay. Well, good. Well, you, you know, know, yeah. I mean, the the bottom line is the bottom line for any business, and you know, right. you, you you you've got to take how you, how you purchase it, and and you know, that's that's all you can do in business. So, and I know for a fact, Ruth and me, you guys give so much back to the community. So. People are going to understand if you have to. We've all had to shift gears in the last two months. So, yeah, uh, so weird, right? Like yeah. the things that have gone on. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. And all we can do is the best we can do. So, well, let's t what you do have, and you're you're working so hard. Let's talk about the the custom ordering process, and let's yeah. talk about beef first of all, if we could. Yeah. So, a customer calls in and says, "Hey, I want to order, you know, quarter beef." One of the first things that they'll ask us is, especially if they've never done it before, they're going to ask what the price is. So right now, you know, just to simplify it for them, we'll say, you know, for a quarter of beef, approximate, you're looking at out the door about $650. Right. About $650, depending on the weight of the beef when it comes in for a quarter. Right. And that's going to include what they have to pay the farmer. Now, there is a distinction. They pay us for the processing and they pay the farmer for that animal because they, they're paying for a live animal. Right. Okay, so we have to make that distinction. And a lot of times people don't understand that, but we, we walk them through that. So that being said, 
Chris would then take over and help. He can tell you what comes in a quarter of beef typically. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, typically on a quarter of beef, you're going to get 50 pounds of hamburger. You're going to get six to eight ribeyes, six to eight T-bones. You're going to get six packages or three packages with two each and sirloins. You're going to get, you know, your roast, up to eight roasts if you want to keep them all. Um, the biggest thing for me is when someone comes in and orders it and they see that price, they see, holy cow, that's a lot of money at one time. No pun intended, holy cow. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but then you explain to them that, so you take all the meat that you just got and it averages out to be like four ninety a pound. That's right. what you're paying. Yep. So if it might come back all the time, and if you can find somewhere that has ribeyes for four ninety four ninety a pound, really great ribeyes. Yeah. You please tell me where that's at because I want to go buy them all. <laughs> right. Um, no, absolutely. It is. And right now, with what with everything going on, it's hard to find eighty five to ninety percent ground beef for four ninety a pound. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. And think of with all that ground beef. I mean. Uh, we're doing it ourselves. You use it for, you know, you, you make a casserole, you make a spaghetti, you know what I mean? You're, you're or making burgers, of course. And yep. they go into a lot of meals that, that feed a lot of people at a time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so, so you know, a lot of people are asking for halves and quarters. We're not getting a whole lot of people asking for a whole, yeah. unless it's a family splitting it. So, right. so that's beef. Um, and then, you know, people still ask for pig palooza, and well, that came and went real fast. We yeah. sold out so yeah. fast. This was like the quickest we've ever sold out of pig palooza because of COVID 19 coming on as strong as it did when it did. Yes. Um, so, but the, right now, you know, a half a hog isn't much more expensive than what we were doing the pig palooza okay. for. So, a uh, half a hog is about $225, 230 yeah. Again, approximate, depending on the actual weight of the hog when it comes in. Right. And it's the same thing. You know, they're going to have to pay the farmer for a portion of that and they pay us for the processing because, again, they are paying for a live animal coming in. Yes. And um, we only sell them on halves or whole. And so with a half a hog, you're getting... Oh, anywhere from 18 to 24 chops. You're getting your pork butt, your pork steak or your pork roast. You're getting your bacon. You're getting your ham. And then you get 14 pounds, 15 pounds of trim, which you can do in a ton of things. You can do broths with it. You can do pork patties. You can do ground pork. You can do sausage. You can do sausage patties. There's a ton of things you can do with it. Right. So. Yeah. And, and by the way, just for people who don't know, a pork butt isn't really the butt of the hog. It's actually a shoulder. Yeah. And it's what you pull pork from. So... Um, I just like to tell people that because they'll, they'll call and they'll be like, what, is it? what are you doing with pork butt? Why is it called pork butt? So anyways, um, so so that's what you get. Now, the other thing that people ask often, you know, they'll, they'll hear the weight and then they'll see what they're actually taking home and will be like, well, wait, you're stealing our meat. And it, no. So there's a yield process too. So the weight is the hanging weight and that also is weighing the bones right um so maybe you can explain that some more because it's like there's a percentage that you have to deduct out of that so, so when, it, when it comes in and we we do our thing you know we butcher it and it hangs in the cooler for beef we let it hang a minimum of seven days yeah. um and you lose shrinkage there right you know it, it, it shrinks in the cooler you lose shrinkage and then when you bring it out and you cut it up we figure right around 60, 62% is what you take home. Right. And that's just, you know, unless somebody says, hey, and, and a lot of people don't realize it, you can have your bones. And you can you have can your get, liver. You can have your liver. You can your have heart. your heart, your tongue. Right. You can have all of that. If you want it. If you want it. You know, <laughs> yeah. um, I've noticed lately a lot of people are taking their bones home. A lot of people are taking the organ meats home now. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. yeah, and that always, and people don't always think of that, and once you explain it to them, but we like to, you know, get the word out, because, especially now because we're having a lot of new people order, right. and that's part of wanting to do this with you tonight, is to kind of, you know, have a video out there for people to kind of reference, so um, the percentages are also put out, um, Iowa State Meat Lab 
has a phenomenal website where it shares all of this information. And it's all based on science as well. So the percentages are all listed there. We have books at um, at the store in Spirit Lake and down at the locker where it shares all of that information so people understand where all of those percentages come from. Um, and it's not your butcher taking your meat because we don't need it. Well, right, <laughs> right. There's no reason for us to take your meat. <laughs> and, it, and then it all really does make sense once you see it in black and white. Yeah. I, yeah. I can make it really easy for people. If you go to a hog roast where they've got the whole hog on the spit, yeah. Yeah. That's what you're going to get. But <laughs> if you're going to take some of that back. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And personally, I prefer it in a wrapper and I can just put it on the grill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, back. and that's the beauty of this time of the year with what you have. You know, when we first talked talk about Pig Palooza, Susie, uh, we, yeah. were we were just getting ready to warm up our grills. Now it's hot grill time, so this is going to be great for, for meals all summer long. Yeah, yeah. Man, it was a different time the last time we talked, you know? <laughs> <laughs> now look at us. <laughs> now look at us go. And, wow, it seems like forever. <laughs> so your inventory is is okay. I mean, you're, uh, like you said, um, the, the trash can stuff, that sort of, but for your ground beef, your ground pork, and, and, and that sort of, you're, you're okay. Yeah, it's, we're, I'm literally going down to the locker daily, and Chris, so I go down in the morning, um, because we're often selling out of sticks daily right. or at, at nighttime. Um, and so I'll go down in the morning and, and grab what I can because they'll, they'll get down there real early. They're starting at 6 o'clock in the morning, every yeah. morning. And then uh, I'll, I'll bring him up by opening. And, and by about midday, we're giving him another inventory sheet. And he'll bring up what he can when he comes home at night. And we'll restock. We're, you know, we're doing yeah. the best we can. We haven't had to put limits on too much yet, but it looks like we're probably going to have to put limits on ground beef pretty soon because people, once they see we have a lot, you know, they're grabbing 50 pounds at a time. Right. And that will wipe us out real quick. And, yes. and it's not really fair to the next customer that wants to come in. So, yeah. um, you know, we, we want to keep everybody happy. I know people are kind of scared and I get it, but, um, but we'll, we'll keep butchering. We'll yep. keep getting it out there as fast as we can. I know you will, and you know I want to remind people to frequent your Facebook page for Ruth Van Locker because you are so good about letting us know when you're open, what you're bringing from uh, from Ruth Van or, or vice versa, whatever it is. And so I tell people look at their website or their their Facebook page. The daily information is almost always there, so you'll keep us yeah. surprised as well. Yeah, I de I definitely try to get on there. I think it's just a really good tool. And, um, you know, sometimes we try to make some fun of, of things going on and you gotta try to keep a little bit lighthearted as well, um, put some recipes up there, and, and we hope that people share things too. Um, but, yeah, that's a great way to find out some information. And, you know, we, we're keeping the stores open, you know, foot traffic, but we also understand that people are a little bit worried about coming in. Um, so we do curbside as well, and right. we, will do, we will do delivery. All delivery is free in the local area if you are snowboarding or coming in and under quarantine. So keep that in mind. Very good. Well, my friends, you do such great work. You provide such a great product and service for the Lakes area and the Ruthven area. Uh, we're very appreciative. And uh, you know what? We're all going to keep a cool head and, and do the best we can. And, and we appreciate everything you do. Well, thank you so much, Jeff. Thanks, I appreciate Jeff. you having us on. No, it's my pleasure. Anytime. You just knock on my door. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our guests have been Chris and Susie Kraft uh, from, of course, Ruthven Locker right here in Spirit Lake. And don't forget about Ruthven Processing and Ruthven. We thank them for being with us. We thank you for watching us here on Okaboji Broadcast.